Edward is the same color as Thomas and the same size as James. He can pull coaches and push freight cars. And he often works as a back engine. But Edward is old and not as strong as the other engines. So sometimes Edward feels left out. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford came to visit their new summer house. They came on their own private engine called Spencer. Spencer is big and silver and very fast. When Spencer pulled into Knapford, his driver had exciting news for him. He said, boasted Spencer. Sir Topham Hatt's engines were very cross, sniffed Gordon, and everyone agreed. Sir Topham Hatt spoke to the engines. Sir Topham Hatt's engines saw a chance for a race, said Thomas, Percy, Gordon, and James all together. Boom, Sir Topham Hatt. James and Gordon groaned, sniffed Gordon rudely, said James huffily. Thomas and Percy were cross. Edward was their friend, said Thomas crossly. Added Percy fumingly. Edward set off. Slow and steady. He puffed. Spencer set off and quickly passed Edward. He boasted. And with a whoosh, he was gone. Edward came to the bottom of a steep hill. The freight was heavy and he felt very tired. He huffed, and he puffed, and was soon at the top. He could see Spencer in the distance, and chased him at once. Edward raced down the hill. Spencer stopped at Wellsworth Station. The Duke and Duchess wanted to buy some tea and cakes from the refreshment lady. Edward teetered into view. Laughed Spencer. Edward wished he could have a rest too, but the station master and the porters had heard about the race. They cheered. Edward picked up steam and puff and proudly puffed past Spencer. But then the Duke and Duchess finished their tea, and Spencer was off in a flash. He roared past Edward. He boasted. Edward was nearly out of puff. The furniture felt heavier than ever. Up ahead, Spencer had to stop. The Duke wanted to take some photographs of the countryside. The Duke set up his camera. Spencer closed his eyes. He said lazily, Gordon was returning to Brendam Docks. He passed Spencer and knew Edward must be losing the race. He sniffed. But when Gordon passed Edward and saw how hard he was trying, he felt bad about what he had said. He called. Edward was so happy his boiler tingled. He found Puff he never knew he had. The Duke and Duchess had finished taking photographs and were back on board, said Spencer's driver and rang the bell, but nothing happened. Spencer was dreaming of victory. He didn't hear the bell, and he didn't hear Edward puffing past him. Spencer's driver rang the bell again. When Spencer finally opened his eyes, he could see... 
Edward heading towards the summer house. He gasped. Spencer took off as fast as he could. But as he reached the siding, his driver ordered him to slow down. He said, Spencer had no choice. He had to slow down. And he trundled slowly down the siding. With every click and every clack, he knew he had lost the race. Edward puffed towards the summer house. He gasped. Edward felt like a really useful engine. He cheered loudly. Edward felt like the pride of the Sodor Railway. And he was right.